What's going on everybody, it's Jay Wilson and you are looking at a super close up of the plants that I have in the 220, the 72 by 27 by 27, Trophius, Dardani, large shell dwelling, crazy Eremotus Gobi tank. <laughs> so I'm trying to give you some different looks of this tank. I'm really liking the plants. However, of course I knew they were gonna eat them, not as at the rate I thought they were gonna be eating them. Uh, so that's a good thing. I'm still dosing with some fertilizer. I still got those fluvals on there. And overall, I'm really happy. Look in the back. Do you see the green on the rocks? That is the goal I want it to take over and in a good way. So let's shift gears and hop into the vivarium so that you can see how much I enjoy this glass box. If you haven't done a vivarium, that's your fault. It is super easy. The frogs are awesome. It's peaceful. It's calming. And did I say it was easy? Um, I haven't had to drain it yet. Everything is, is just self-reliant from, I mean, look at the flies. I'm culturing the flies. You can check that out on Instagram. Um, I culture the flies underneath the aquarium inside these containers that I get from Josh's frogs. Um, and you know that I work with Josh's frogs. So if you want to get 15% off, use the code JAY15. You can get 15% off everything except gift cards and they have fish stuff. But more importantly, look at how close these Dendrobates tinctorius azurius are. Uh, the, they're blue dart frogs. They're not poisonous, but they're just so active. I still have all three. Haven't lost one. I had anticipated it, and at some point I will. Let's shift gears again, and let's get to the community tank because the community tank is kind of at a stagnant motion, and that's an oxymoron because stagnant means either slow or stopping, and motion means moving. So, yeah. <laughs> This is absolutely horrible. They're awesome fish. They're beautiful. They're active. They're just not growing at a rate that I want. I don't do the stack feeding. I don't get, I don't get into that. It's just not something that I that I do get into. Um, I had a diatom outbreak, which was normal. Uh, that kind of subsided a little bit. And these guys are being fed every day, a couple times a day, which I normally don't do. Um, I normally feed once a day. But you can see they're very active. They're very healthy. They're full, and they're just doing their thing. So. That is, in essence, Lake Tanganyika is beautiful for its diversity of shapes, sizes, colors, you name it. But sometimes when you get them small like I did, the shapes are great, the sizes may not be great, and the colors are great, but that's why people always fixate on Malawi, right? So outside of that, I really wanted to do something out of the box, out of the ordinary. And... I love the scape, I just don't know if I love that. But the next tank is exactly what people have always come to, to know about me, and that's Lake Malawi. It's haps and peacocks, it's haps. Um, I've never really not liked peacocks. I'm not a huge Pseudotrophius fan. However, you know, there are some that I would keep, but I would probably keep them species only. Um, all of these fish in here are either gonna be from me back in the day fish out of New Jersey, Imperial Tropicals, or the Wonder of Cichlids. I do have some fish coming from Cunningham Cichlids as well. I don't know when those are coming, uh, but I just got a lot of stuff. Like I've got a talk this weekend. So there's just so much, there's so much on my plate, running a business, uh, having a family, working, having fun on social media, doing YouTube, which, you know, I enjoy doing, you know, if, if I was in it for the money, I would have walked away a long time ago. Uh, but really fun stuff. You can see that these fish are healthy. They're thriving. Uh, let's shift back to the Trophius tank at a different angle and look at the Dardanai. So Dardanai or Dardinii, however you want to say it. I really like this fish. Uh, Dave's Rare Fish is where I got uh, pretty much all of these fish in here except for the Eremotus. I got those from Cunningham Cichlids. And honestly, guys, you can go to jay-wilson.com and you can get codes to these places. I'm not getting stuff in return. I'm literally getting a code so you can get a discount. I'm trying to give, get you 15, 10, 20% off at these places from Imperial Tropicals, Cunningham Cichlids, uh, Dave's Rare Fish, uh, you name it. So enjoy that stuff. It's on that website. Now look at the trophy is finally fully forming. Their colors are coming in. Everything's looking good. Uh, but back to the Dardanai, they could be a bigger fish. I want to say about seven inches. 
Uh, they're a schooling fish, they look really cool. And usually, typically, it's only the male that's gonna give some color like this guy right up front. He's kind of sliding off to the left. He's got a little bit of yellow under his belly. But once they full out, they're gonna be amazing. And these trophies are starting to take on some color, which is simply phenomenal. Let's go back to the Malawi tank because that's what everybody wants. And you can see the Taiwan Reef. That's doing great. I mean, just overall, oh, the Lawanda. Mm -hmm. The Venustis is kind of chilling. He didn't have any spots. He was on fire. Uh, but the eye biter is kind of a butt head right there at the top. Um, he really, really likes to chase everyone. He's the one that's causing those issues. And I really, 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 really wish he would chill out because I don't want to have to do anything that's drastic. But you know with Malawi. Now you can see I have some diatoms building up on the center stack. So that center stack is an overflow. Um, look at the trout. Oh my goodness. These fish are just full on. The white lip is taking a little bit of heat. That's why he's kind of washed out, but everybody else is doing great. But that center stack is the overflow. Uh, so this does have a sump underneath it, as you know, that Niger Ventor is posing. <laughs> but um, what I did was I wanted this to be a completely different tank than I've ever done, completely different scape. I wanted to do a sump, I wanted to do it all. And that's what I did. So I've got the Malawi rock background from Universal Rocks. I've got some carob sea sand because you know that that is all I use is carob sea. And so I've got some small little river stone pebbles, so to speak. And I've got some, yeah, riff lake mix kind of shell and crap. I have no idea. It's like rock, but it kind of gives you that Malawi bottom feel. Um, and if it's not true to Malawi, it's going to give you a little bit of that pH um, action. It's not going to totally do it for you, but it'll help. Uh, there's a ton of different rocks in here. There's river stones, like real river stones. There's dispersion rocks from Universal Rocks. There's, you name it, there's rocks in here. So I paid homage to old tanks by doing the Malawi background and a couple of the same rocks. And then I just went in a different direction with Universal Rocks as river stones and all that stuff. And you guys know you can get a discount there. That hasn't changed. But overall, I'm really happy. Uh, Trevor O'Shea took really good care of me. You know, I didn't ask for anything. He just really went after what I was looking for, and I greatly appreciate that from him. Um, I don't have a code with him, but if you want, check out The Wonder of Cichlids. You know who he is. Uh, he can get you exactly what you need. Um, that Lawanda right there is from Fish Hut of New Jersey, my boy Rich. Um, definitely, if you're in the area, go to his store. It's freaking awesome. Straight up, it is awesome. But I'm really happy with all three of the tanks overall. I want to do some changes, not to the tanks, but actually to the room. Um, we'll expand on that in the future. I got some really neat things that are happening with the channel, so I hope you stay tuned. And if you haven't um, followed me for a long time, I greatly appreciate your new subscription. So if you just want to tap that subscribe button, like and share this. I would, If you didn't subscribe, I would rather you just share this video, like it, and comment. Um, but if you subscribe, that would be amazing as well. So. I'm working with a couple of different places to get this idea out of my head that I've talked about before on live stream. So you can go to some past videos and check that out. But overall, I just want to, I, I want to add more vivariums. I want to add a paludarium. I want to really just tie in this room from fish tanks to amphibians to vivariums to just paludariums. So at some point I'll get there. Uh, it's patience. You got to trust the process you know, not the product. If I just went for the product, then the process would be miserable. And that's what we do in life, right? So here's your motivation. Trust the process, not the product. If you go straight after the product, you will not enjoy the process and you will be doing it for the wrong reasons. So you have to have passion and you have to love that process. And if you do those things, you will enjoy fish keeping and whatever you do for years and years to come. And if you get burnout, it's because you were in it for the wrong reasons. That's straight up. That's how it is. I've done it before. I'll probably still do it, but I greatly appreciate your support. Hit the subscribe button, share this, comment, do what you do to make me relevant. We're close to 25,000, I was told. So we're going to do something big. You know what's next. Aha!